On September 10th, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs joined with the World Health Organization in recognizing and supporting World Suicide Prevention Day under the theme, Creating Hope Through Action. This theme has been in use from 2021 to 2023 as a call for action for stronger decision-making practices and an understanding that our actions can inspire hope and increase measures that prevent suicide. We at the Ministry of Health believe that education plays a big part in promoting suicide prevention. Having adequate knowledge can assist with debunking the myths of suicide, promoting health-seeking behaviors, and can increase resilience among our people. Suicide is preventable, and no one should go through life struggles alone. Throughout the month of September, our programs and activities will place heavy focus on suicide survivors, prevention, and awareness. Suicide continues to be a serious public health concern in St. Lucia, impacting men in particular. In 2022, eight men died by suicide and four men to date in 2023. That is far too many. Suicide is preventable and the devastating effects involves not only the immediate family, but the community and island by extension. In, a t in an attempt to address this public health and societal concern, the following strategies are being implemented creating protective environments, improving access to suicide care, promoting healthy connections, teaching coping and problem solving skills, identifying and supporting people at risk, and lessening harms and preventing future risks. Access to mental health care have been improved with the integration of mental health services into the primary health care services. In 2019, 28 primary health care professionals were trained in the Mental Health Gap Action Program, commonly called the MH Gap. This program is specially designed to build capacity to bridge the gap in mental health services by training health care pro providers and other community members to deliver psychosocial services relating to prevention, early detection, and treatment to individuals needing such care. We must promote dialogue surrounding mental health, suicide, and suicide ideation. We encourage the various organizations to help highlight the problem of suicide and advocate, it, advocate its prevention. A call goes out to the general public to be educated about suicide prevention, to know the signs and symptoms and the way we can help others. We implore the media to play their part in education on suicide prevention and to be more responsible in their reporting of suicides. If we learn about suicide and the signs to look for, we can help save lives and prevent its occurrence. Through our actions, we can create hope. <laughs>